In this video, we will go over my empties for the month of August. I have a few fail items that will be decluttered. And we will go over my low buy. <laughs> hey, howdy, hey y'all, Leanna here. I am a 59-year-old beauty enthusiast. My passion is to help you be more confident to realize your self-worth and to show yourself some self-love using makeup as a tool to achieve all of that. Let's start off with my empties for the month of August. Starting off with this brow pencil. This is an Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer. It is a triangular shaped brow pencil in the shade taupe and I have used every little ounce of that up. I have had this brow pencil for a couple of years. I am so happy to have it done. I do not like brow pencils at all. I have a few, so I have been trying to use up the dribs and drabs, as Tina would say. I, it had just a little bit left, so I I use my brow gel and then I kind of use this to fill in little places that I missed. Anyway, I got this used up. I'm super excited. Next is a conditioner. This is the Briogeo Color Me Brilliant Mushroom and Bamboo Color Protectant Conditioner. I got this at Marshalls. I love this brand. Love all of their products. This was a really nice conditioner and I absolutely would buy it again preferably on sale because these are a little pricey I think I got this for five bucks at Marshall's and this is a $32 product I went through quite a few perfume samples the first one is Burberry Her and I really enjoyed this. I would absolutely purchase on sale. I use this Biro Bitter Green Essence Toner. It is a very nice toner. It is crazy expensive. I would not purchase it again because of the price. If it was deeply discounted, I, I may buy it, but there are other toners out there that I would purchase before I purchase this. That has been in my collection for a very long time. I am so happy it's gone. <laughs> I used up one of my Do of the Gods under eye volumizing collagen pads. If you have spent any amount of time with me, you know that I love these. They are my absolute favorite. They are phenomenal. You can put them on when you go to bed at night. They will stay on all night. They're not soppy, goopy, wet. They have a felt, a dry felt outer area. And then there's like a gel on the inside. And I put them on when I go to bed at night. And they are still in place in the morning. And I have soaked up all of that goodness all night long. I love these. Spoiler alert for when you see my beauty A to Z. I finished up the Elemis Pro Collagen Advanced Eye Treatment. I really did enjoy this product. I think that it did a great job. It has um, a very hydrating property to it. And my under eyes can be very, very dry. I did enjoy it. I would absolutely repurchase probably on sale, but it is a very good product. The Flora and Curl Botanical Hot Hair Care. <sighs> what was that? I don't know. Hydrate Me Organic Rose and Honey Cream Shampoo and Cream Conditioner. Y'all, <laughs> I like the uh, conditioner. This cream shampoo, have y'all ever used a cream shampoo? It is the weirdest stuff on the planet. I was like, 
Where's the phone? There's no phone. It doesn't phone. I just knew when I got out of the shower the first time I used it that my hair was just going to be a hot, greasy mess, but it wasn't. Weird. I'm telling you, it was weird. And I mean, it, it did a good job. Performed fine. My hair was fine. But I would not repurchase because I want the foam. I'm, I've been foaming my hair up for 59 years. Where is the foam? I used up another perfume sample. This is Floral Street Lang Lang Espresso, and it was very nice. I really liked it. I purchased a little, like, um, what are they called? Explore set of the Floral Street, and it was very nice. I don't think these are super expensive, but I mean, perfume is pricey, but I would definitely purchase it. It was nice. I wish that you could get every drip out of the, but you can't. You can't. I finally finished up my Good Molecules Niacinamide Brightening Toner. I really like this product. I have more, um toners that I need to use up, but I would absolutely repurchase this. Very nice product for 14 bucks. Another brow pencil. This is the Huda Beauty Bomb Brows. This was in 4 Light Brown. It was a very fine, very, very fine. And it ratchets up. <laughs> It was a nice product. I just don't like brow pencils. I like how small the spoolie is on the other end though. Very nice. If you're looking for a brow pencil, this would be a nice one. I also purchased a Kali Discovery. That's what they're called, a Discovery set. And I used up two out of that discovery set. The first one is called Love Fest and it's Burning Cherries and oh my goodness we'll get back to this in just a minute. The next one that I finished is called Utopia and I did enjoy Utopia as well. This is Vanilla Cocoa and it was quite lovely. The last little perfume sample that I finished is the Skylar Clean Beauty Coconut Cove, and I did enjoy this as well. Not something that I would necessarily repurchase, but I did enjoy it. I finally finished my little terracotta lip balm in Cocoa Orange. These are handmade. I can't remember the lady's name that makes it, but... Her company is called Terracotta, and she started her own skincare line because one of her kids had eczema, I believe. And this had a very lovely smell to begin with, but then it didn't last long before it started smelling like it was, and it, it gets that... Um, that oily smell, if you know what I'm talking about. I do like that she has biodegradable packaging, but the packaging on this was a little annoying <laughs> because you have to push it up and it just did not want to push up right. And then it's really big to you know, get on your lips. I had it all over my face, but it was a nice product. Once you got past kind of the smell, when the smell kind of turned a little bit, but anyway, it's gone. And the last product that I finished is this Vitabread C12 Wrinkle Serum. It has secret code P151 in it, whatever that means. And 
I got this in a subscription box and I mean I enjoyed using it. It is not something that I would go out of my way to purchase but I was glad to use it. So those are all of my empties for the month of August. I used a total of $394.02 in those 17 products. Moving on to my declutters. I am decluttering this Essence Got a Crush on Apricots blush. This is Aura blush. I was so excited when I saw this because it is so pretty. Look at how pretty that is. I just wanted to slather that all over my cheeks, but That's it. And when you put it on, there's nothing. Nothing. It's nothing. <laughs> I actually used this a couple of times to set my eye primer. And I mean, it was like nothing. And I don't know. I mean, I hate to waste it. I'm, I guess I could use it to set my eye primer, there was no, it, it was nothing. Even when I did that, it was nothing. I, I think maybe I'll just trash it. The other thing that I'm decluttering is this Milk Kush Lip Scrub. I don't think it has a scent or a flavor. This is what it looks like. The component is nice because it's magnetic. But, oh, it does smell kind of pepperminty. I find that my lips don't handle lip scrubs very well. They seem to kind of irritate my lips. So I am going to declutter this because it just is not working for me. The last thing that I am decluttering is this Eyelash Boost Serum from Dime. I have tried multiple times to use this, and every time I do, it just burns the crap out of my eyeballs, so it's going in the trash. Those are all of my declutters. Now let's get into my low buy. So far for 2024, I have used up a monetary value of $2,419.89 worth of products. I am super excited about that. Okay, now we're going to get into my low buy. <laughs> okay, so I have a beauty budget, and I did not blow my beauty budget. However... I bought a lot of stuff in August. In my defense, though, I didn't buy anything in July. Did I? I did not. I didn't buy a thing in July. Bought a couple of things in June, but nothing in July. Nothing. So, <laughs> I get a hall pass for August. Okay, so I have a beauty budget. And every month I put $50 into my beauty budget. But along with my $50, I have a Macari store. Link is down in my description box, always. Anyway, I have a Macari store. And when I declutter things or whatever, they go in my Macari store. And actually, I make art and I make handmade jewelry. And I have some of those things. Should I put those in my Macari store? I'm thinking about putting some of that in my Macari store. Whatever I sell makeup-wise out of my Macari store, whatever I income I get from that goes into my beauty bank because I spent that money on makeup. I'm putting it back in to my beauty bank. So, I didn't go over budget. I'm just saying. Just saying. Anyway, this is this is what we this is my low buy. This is a low buy. <laughs> it's, 
It's a low buy. And it really is, because, I mean, like, for the last three years, I didn't know what a low buy was. I was on a break the bank buy is what I was doing for three years. Okay, anyway. Let's start off with Odin's Eye, because I, Odin's Eye has been on my wish list for a very, very long time. I am so excited. This stuff has been in a box, and I have wanted to use it, but I was trying to wait so that I could open it with you, share the love, you know. So here we are. I am so excited. I finally get to open my Odin's eye and put it in my inventory and get her used. So excited. So I bought three palettes from Odin's Eye. Months. I'm telling you months. I kept looking. I kept comparing and I couldn't decide. And I kept saying, I am not going to get one of Angelica's palettes. But here it is. <laughs> Because I kept looking at it. Look at the packaging. The packaging is very nice. It has a mirror. The, the packaging really is nice. Look at how nice that is. And look at the, the shades. Anyway, they tape the they tape the shade saver, which is nice because then it doesn't flap and fall all over the place. Let's, let's take that off. And here are the shades. And I, I'm sure that y'all have seen this palette. I'm super excited. I will be putting these on my calendar to do a video. I want to start doing videos on these palettes because I'm sure that some of y'all have palettes like these and you need some inspiration to get you to use these colors. Shades. They're shades. They're colors, but they're shades. <laughs> the next one is Norn's Eyeshadow Palette. And again, with the packaging, this has a sleeve as well. It's raised and it's textured. Even the back. The back is textured. It's just very, very nice. And here's what this one looks like. Oh my gosh. I just... Look at how pretty... Look. Alright, let me take the... Let me take the screensaver off of it. Y'all, look at these colors. Look at that. Look at that red. What in the hell am I going to do with that? What am I going to do with that? Look at this orange. I'm going to do something with it because they are absolutely gorgeous. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. This... I don't know. Screams to me, winter's coming. Jon Snow. Winter's coming. And then the last Odin's Eye is the Snow Dream. This as well has a sleeve and is textured. Look at that. More red. More red, but this is a matte red. So pretty in that green. I just, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I should swatch these, shouldn't I? But I'm not going to. We gonna have a whole party. <laughs> we just gonna have a whole party. Anyway, that is my Odin's Eye order. And those three palettes cost me a hundred and fifteen dollars and seventy-two cents. 
which is a little more than my $50 budget, but I had money saved up. I ordered the Tear Tear Foundation from Amazon because everybody's talking about how amazing this is. And, you know, they go on and on about how amazing it is, and it does this, and it does that. And so I had to get it because I don't like liquid and cream foundation. I'm a powder foundation girl. So if anybody's going to tell you the truth about this, it's going to be me. And Prime, I got this on Amazon Prime Day. And I paid, I mean, first, it's a mini. They had a mini, so you, you didn't have to buy the full size. But I think the full size was like $22. This was $11.80. 11 dollars 80 is what I paid for this. It's super cute. Super cute little mini. And I got shade 21 in ivory, which is too light. But you know how hard it is to try to match foundation. Anyway, super cute packaging. It's got the little mirror. It's got the little patty pat thing. And then it's dirty because I used it. And you, you use the inside as like a little palette. And there's your, your foundation. And I'm going to do a dedicated video, but I'm wearing it. That's what I have on. And I was doing the, the dang video. I was going on and on. I was telling you about it. I was putting it on my face. I looked over. I never turned the microphone on. So <laughs> this will be an upcoming video. I purchased the Urban Decay Naked, the original limited edition new original. I've never had this palette, and I love Urban Decay, and I don't normally, it's rare, like even those Odin Eye palettes, I got two of them, I got a discount on two of them. I don't typically pay full price but I paid full price for this this was $59 and that's what I have on I did a video when the video is released I will put it in the cards very nice the packaging is really nice the packaging is going to end up with cat hair all over it because I have four cats. Very pretty palette. Love it, love it. I did swatches. I did the whole the whole thing. So that video is coming. I don't need to put that back in the box. But it says to look inside. <clears throat> so let's look inside and see. It's a certificate of authenticity. What else? Refer. This did not come out of my beauty budget either because I don't really have a makeup brush problem. Did I say that out loud? <laughs> anyway, I used these today because I have makeup on. I bought, they come in the box and they come if you've never bought rougher brushes wrapped up in these little sleeves. And I bought them because Alex Anali, Anali, is that how you pronounce her last name? Surely y'all know Alex. She is a very large YouTuber, and she is phenomenal. I just love her channel. She is 
not only a makeup artist, I don't know that she's like a professional makeup artist, but she is a makeup artist, but she is an artist, like actual art, and she definitely looks at her makeup application as a form of art, and she did a collab with Refer and created her own brush, and I had to have it. I had to have it. So when the, the day it was released, I ordered it, and it has blush on it because it's little for, you know, precision. She likes to do precise, you know, detailed makeup, and this brush is made so that the back of it is flat and then the front is angled. I don't know if you can see that. See how it's flat on that back side and then the front side is angled to help with powders. She said that it's good for powders or cream, but you can do that precise makeup. It is wonderful. I used it and I love it. So this is why I placed an order with Ruffer. And so the other thing that she did was made the handle longer than normal Ruffer brushes. Their handles are normally shorter, which I kind of like the shorter handles. But sometimes, I mean, the further you are back from the tip of the brush, when you're close to the tip, you're, you're going to apply your makeup heavier. The further back you are, the lighter. You see how floppy. You don't have as much control. So it's, it's going to be a very, very light application the further back you are. So they made their core eye brushes, which I have the core set. So this this brush here is a refer 15 and this brush is a refer 15. The camera is not going to pick that up. As you can see, they are both refer 15s. And the handle on the original, this one, the dirty one, because <laughs> I use it all the time, it's one of my favorite brushes, is longer than the, the new brush, which doesn't, I like the shorter, but I also like the longer. So I was happy. They uh, did a deal where if you bought her brush, you could get these at a reduced price. Now, if you know anything about Ruffer, or if you have wanted to get Ruffer brushes, they have what's called a concept store. So they will offer their brushes at a reduced price if you give them an honest review, give them feedback, your, your feedback, because everybody uses their brushes differently or in a different capacity or they like for their brushes to have a different feature or a different feel or a different weight. So they're always looking for honest feedback so you can get their products at a reduced price in the concept store and they will offer that to you when you go to their website and sign up so i'm super excited to have those and to have alex's brush and while I was there, you know, to save on shipping and stuff, 
I got their eyelash curler because I've heard that it's really good and I used that today too. I don't know if my eyelashes are looking curly because when I look in my monitor I'm looking down so but it worked really nice. It actually fits my eye very well. I don't normally curl my lashes because my skin is crepey and I have hooded eyes and it pinches and that shit hurts when you do that so I don't normally but you know it again I got it in the concept store so I did not pay full price for it and they will in a couple of months they will send me an email and ask me to give them feedback you have to agree when you buy something in their concept store you have to agree to give them feedback if you don't give them feedback they don't let you buy anything out of the concept store so that's how that works in case you didn't know this next purchase as well did not come out of my beauty budget but I mean, even if it had of, it wouldn't hurt me because let's go back to this little perfume sample. Remember I said we were going to come back to this? This Kaali Love Fest Burning Cherries, which absolutely just blew my freaking mind. I was like, what? Holy cow. This little bitty sample, which I pay for, I pay for this, caused me to go to Sephora website for this, which is $138. $138. Why is perfume so expensive? But oh my goodness. It is, it is lovely. L lovely is not even a great word. It is, I, I'm, I'm not good at, I'm new. <laughs> I am new to the perfume game. So I'm not good at notes and top notes and you know, like describing fragrances and all of that, I am not good at that. But this, this is wonderful, wonderful. So it's, it has burning the, 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 the notes, the scents of this is burning cherry, which is the top note. I get that because it's up at the top of the list. Burning cherry, raspberry, praline, palo santo, galac, I I'm sure I'm not saying that right, wood, and patchouli is the bottom note. And I just was instantly, instantly in love. And this packaging... I mean, bougie. We bougie. We are bougie. This is such a nice box that the bottle came in. Look at how pretty the bottle is. It is just, it's wonderful. And they have the, the same list of the notes. And y'all... I just, it is phenomenal. Like, it is my new favorite scent. And I'm, I'm so happy because I've just, it's been in that basket just waiting for me to talk to you about it so that I could start using it. Now, this little bitty thing sent me to Sephora 
to possibly purchase a $138 bottle of perfume, but I am here to tell you, because if you've been following me for a while, I keep telling y'all, Leanna don't pay full price. I mean, I know I pay full price for the, the Urban Decay Naked, but Leanna don't typically pay full price, and she ain't pay full price for this. I want y'all to know that I paid $23 for this $138 bottle of perfume. How did you ask? Well, let me tell you. This is a selfless plug, too. I'm here to tell you. In my description box, there is a link for Capital One Shopping. I'm, if you are not using Rakuten or Capital One Shopping, you are missing the boat because Capital One Shopping has an extension. And when you go somewhere and you go shopping, it'll flash up. It'll go, hey, you can save some money if you click on me. You click on it. It does all the things and... You know, it sounds like RDD, R2-D2 and, and, you know, and then it saves you money. <laughs> and then that money goes into a little account on their website. And so I went to my little account on my website, on their website, in my account, and I had $107 worth of points. So I got a gift card to go to Sephora. And then... I had points, because, you know, if you buy things on Sephora, you have points. So then I used points to go along with my Capital One points so that I didn't pay $138 for the bottle of burning cherry goodness. And that's how you do that. So go down in the description box. If you do not have Capital One shopping, go down in the description box and sign up. Now... <clears throat> It is an affiliate link. If you sign up and if you use it, they will give me some money, but you will also get some money. We both, it's a win-win. Then you can buy perfume, I can buy more perfume or more makeup or whatever. Maybe one day, if a million of you, if I had a million viewers and all of y'all signed up for Capital One Shopping, I could probably buy a house or car, or at least a pair of shoes. Anyway, this is how I do these things, is by catching sales, using programs to save me money, and then earning points to get the things that I want. $138 for 20-something. I've been rambling on about that perfume for how long? But the point is, I wanted to make sure that y'all know that those things are available so you can save some money. Along with that, I got free samples. <laughs> I, got, I got some green tea enzyme PHA toner lotion from Innisfree. Ennis, this will go in my turn and burn too. Look at the little cute sample. Isn't that cute? It's so cute. Just gosh darn cute. If y'all are wondering why I'm being so silly, it is 5.53 a.m. and I have not been to bed yet. I have another sample of the Burberry Her because, you know, I needed that. I've only been through like 18 of those. Actually, I asked for something else and they sent me the wrong one. They sent me, or I asked for, this Hermes Twilly perfume, and I've already huffed it, <laughs> and it is another one that I'm going to, I instantly put it on my list. I just kind of, it smells so good, so good, yep, so that. Both of those are going in my turn and burn. Okay. This is going to be a long video, y'all. Okay. My last, 
my last little shopping spree was Sydney Grace. Sydney Grace had their Christmas in July sale, and you know, that went into August. I had to wait until the day came where you spent a hundred dollars and you got a hundred and thirty dollars worth of free product. I mean, why wouldn't you? If you were gonna, I'm, I'm not saying, oh my gosh, run out and spend a hundred dollars so you can get a hundred and thirty dollars worth of free product. But if you're going to go buy it, why would you not? Just wait till that day. And when they sent you the $130 worth of free product, it was their choice. So, let me take it all out of the, the little basket thingy and I'll show you what I got. Okay, I forgot one other product. It's just too much stuff in the basket. So, if you were following one of my projects, I don't remember which one it was, I was using the Coors Santorini Grape Poreless Skin Cream. Oh my goodness, I loved this so much. I got it in a subscription box and I completely used it up. Phenomenal product. This cost $42 and I said that I would absolutely repurchase it. I might would splurge at the $42, but would definitely buy it if it were on sale. Well, I was on Macari because I have a Macari store. Sound like a broken record. And this was on the Macari store, and I liked it. It, it like popped up in my feed, and I liked it. Well, when you like a product on Macari, it lets the seller know how many people have liked that product. <clears throat> and then, if they really want to get rid of it, they will offer that product to everybody that's liked it. That they, they can set a price. So, they offered, she offered the product at a reduced price. And at the same time, Macari gave me a $10 off coupon. So I paid $1.32. I paid $1.32, y'all. See, this is what I keep telling y'all. If you, you, it, you just gotta wait for sales and things and you can have some of the more expensive products that you like at a reduced cost. A dollar thirty-two I paid for a forty-two dollar skincare product. Which did not go against my beauty budget. Not that the dollar thirty-two would have killed my beauty budget, but I don't have a skincare problem. I have an eyeshadow palette problem. Just saying. Although everything here in the Sydney Grace haul did go against my budget. Although it probably shouldn't have. But anyway, whatever. It's there. Okay. So, when I said you had to spend $100 and you got $130 worth of free products. I don't know if you can see that. They sent me $140 worth of free product. Sydney Grace is phenomenal. One of the best indie brands out there. I love them. Love them. So, I will try to remember what the cost of everything was. I got... They offered some new products for their Christmas in July sale products that they just came out with. They have a whole new, like they're doing skincare, they're doing perfumes, and they're doing nail polish. So I got three nail polishes. These are like multi-chrome. You see the gold, green, I don't know. It's called Deep Space. 
and it has a gold green red shift to it. I want to say these were $11, somewhere around in there. I should have looked. If I think about it, I'll, I'll put the price down here. So that was Deep Space. This is Fairy Forest. Look at how pretty that is. It is pink and green and teal and purple and all the things. Gorgeous. And this one is Peach Berry Fizz. Look at how pretty. This has pink and orange and gold and all kinds of goodness. So I got three new nail polishes. I'm super excited about those. And then, like I said, they were doing fragrance. So I got, they had five fragrances. You could buy the full-size bottle for $40, which is a great price. Or you could get the little diffusers. Is that what these are called? For 10 bucks, then that way you can try them. They are, you know, like the little subscription ones that you subscribe to. It's got the Sydney Grace on it. They are super cute. These were $10 a piece. So I got Eternal. Moonlit Meadow, which I had uh, Moonlit Meadow in an oil, and it's in a rollerball, which smells phenomenal, but I'm not a rollerball person. I just don't care for that, so I was happy that that is in an actual perfume. This one is Night Jasmine, and they all smell phenomenal. This one is Devoted. And this one is My Vision. And they're all wonderful. I love them. I have already been using them. And the last product that I bought from their new line, because this is all new, is the Sydney Grace Mineral Foundation. This is a loose powder foundation. Now, I don't know how that's going to work because <laughs> I've never used a loose foundation. It's in a little shaker thing. Let's see. Some of it on my finger. That's what it looks like now. Of course, that's on my hand. I don't know if that's going to be too light. I don't know. We'll see. It kind of reminds me, though, of my cover girl. It kind of has the same shade as my cover girl and y'all know that I love this so we'll see I'm excited to use it and see how I like it so those are the products that I bought now let me show you the hundred and forty dollars were oh no there's one more product I bought a multi-chrome eyeshadow, so, but that's, I have already opened that, and it's in my, in my palette. So now let me show you what they sent me for my free stuff. They sent me a lot of stuff. For my free gift, I got some brushes. I love their brushes. They have really nice brushes. Love the little wooden handles. They're 
kind of light. They don't have a lot of weight to them, but they're nice and soft and they blend very well. They're all different. I like how this one kind of has that angle to it. It's a nice blending brush. And that one is as well. The handles are nice and they have the Sydney Grace and they each have their own number. I have a cream blush. This is my love. Love that shade. I have one of their cream blushes. Oh, that's so pretty. Look at how pretty that is. They blend out so nice. And it looks nice over top of that powdered foundation. Very nice. The only, my only complaint is the jar is very small to attempt to get a brush in. Because the brush that I use for that type of thing. Oh! That will fit perfectly. Hmm. Hmm. See? I knew what I was doing when I bought the brush. Okay, so that's a cream blush. And then I have a brow gel. This is a clear brow gel and it has a little, little brush on it. So that's nice. Then I have a lip cream, I think these are. And this is in the shade Chloe. And I'm not going to swatch that because I don't wear products like this very often. And I have quite a few. So I am either going to put this in my Macari store or I will be doing a giveaway soon. I may put it in the giveaway. And then I have another cream blush. And this one is in a pan. Which is really nice. This is Cherry Blossom. The one that I have is called Rosebud. The one that I was already using and that's a very nice shade too. I thought they were kind of similar there for a second but you can tell they're this this one is more pink mauve and this is kind of a peachy brown. I got two highlighters. This one is called Rhythm and these are all shades that I did not have. So that's Rhythm. And this one is PSL Extra Whip. It is so pretty. That's that one right there. It's more of a peachy leaning. I love it. Very happy with all of those. And then everything else I got was single eyeshadows. This is the one that I purchased. It's called Birthday Girl. It is a multi-chrome. It's so pretty. Very pretty. It's kind of light, but I love it. It's a purple pink shift. So these are the shadows that I got. This is the one that I purchased. And all the rest are single shadows that were sent. Very pretty. That blue. We should swatch that. 
And these also were in the $140, but I already had these. So I feel fortunate that I only received three items that I already have because I have a lot of Sydney Grace. Let's quickly... Where am I going to put it? Oh my goodness. Look at how pretty that is. So I am very happy with all the products that I got from Sydney Grace. Their Christmas and July sales are phenomenal and they always put out new products when they have their sale. They will do steep discounts and give you free stuff if you ever want to try Sydney Grace. Save up your money and hit their Christmas and July sale. A lot of people add things to their wish list just for that sale. So the total that I spent in the month of August on purchases was $293.52 which left me $104 in my beauty bank at the end of August. If you like empties, declutters, and low buy videos, I will put the playlist right here so that you can go binge watch some more. Otherwise, I'll see you in my next video. Okay, love you, bye.